Hello everybody, Stuart from Content Balloon here, and today I want to go over Middleman, which is our product that gives you API-like features when using our AI-powered content generation tool, and how you can use this with uh, models to quickly create uh, different outputs that you can use for processes within your business. So the advantages of Middleman is that you don't need to use the app. So you could use a Google Sheet, enter a few details and get an output directly there on the sheet. And this is what I want to go over today and how this can be uh, utilized for e-commerce and dropshipping businesses to quickly create product descriptions. As I know that when you are involved in these sort of businesses, you are often getting products in and products out all the time. So you want a quick way to create a description so that you can push it live on your site. And this can all be done with automation using Middleman. Now, Middleman has some restraints on it because obviously we are using uh, new AI technology and we have to abide by the rules of our AI provider. So we do put a human in the loop on our side, which we call the content cartel which are the uh, mediators of just making sure that all the outputs are okay and go through our standards. And this is all done in real time. So for you, on your end, it's just like sending an API request, but on our end, there's a bit more that we need to do. And we do that so that we are fully compliant with everything. So how do we use Middleman? You see on this page, we have show documentation at the end with a link which goes to a Google Doc. So if we click this, it will open up the Google Doc, which is here, and you can see our documentation. Every request needs to have a x-api key uh, field where you put your key in, and then we need a model field where you put the model that you want to use in, and you need to correspond with the inputs. So for example, if we wanted to use the e-commerce descriptions, which is here, the model name is e-commerce descriptions, so we'd create a field with model e-commerce descriptions. There are two inputs, input one and input two. Input one is the product name, input two is the product description. And then of course we need to have the x-api-key header in that request. So how does this look in reality and how do we get this key that we need? You can get the key by going to your Content Villain app and your settings page and we have this middleman key, show my key button. If we click on this button, you're gonna get the key here. I've blurred it out because it's my key and you should never make these things public. Uh, so you can copy that and then you can use it in your workflows, whether you are using code or no code and you want to put this into a Zapier script, Integrately, Pabli, Integromat, whatever else, you can do that. And I'm gonna show you how to do that with Integromat today because that's my preferred uh, solution for building stuff like this and what we are going to show is how you can create something that uh, watches for new rows in the google sheet when it finds a new row it's going to send that data to uh, content villain content villain is then going to send it to the ai the ai is going to come back and say here's what we've created is that okay Our uh, content cartel in real time are going to approve that in the back end and then it's going to update your google sheet so this is a completely sort of automatic process for you to get data out into a google sheet if you have a bunch of products coming in and if you regularly use google sheets like this so how do we set this up the first step is to watch the rows in the google sheet so we have to map it out so we are looking for this spreadsheet middleman demo sheet one because that's the sheet we're using it's got headers on it yes it does and we are limiting it to five at a time so you can enter up to five uh five rows and it will pick them up and then it will cycle through each of those uh and that's very easy and then how does the request look to content villain here we are we've got the api.contentvillain.com it's a post request. The header is that x-api-key with the hidden field there. We have body type. You can send this as JSON or you can send it as form data. I've got it as form data here. You see that I've got model e-commerce descriptions. We have 
this one, input one, which is the product name, and we have input two, which is the product description. So that all looks good to me. And then the final step is we've got this output from uh, Content Villain. And just a final note, you want to pass this response because we are giving you back a JSON uh, response. So to get the data out of that, you want to pass that so it's understood. So it's just some of these platforms do that automatically, some don't. For Integromat, you need to make sure that you tick that. And then the final step is to actually update that row in uh, Google Sheets. So that's done very simply with an update row model. We click in just to show you how we set that up. So we've connected it again to the middleman demo, same sheet, sheet one. And then this is the important field, the row number, which we can just get from this number six. Once you click in here, it's going to, row number is here, just blurred because of that API key, which is why it's not showing. And then we need to map the AI generated output, which is the content here. We click this field in here, and then we know that that's going to update fine. And then we hit OK, and that's done. And then I show you, this is what we have. I've done a bit of testing, um, free products here. And I've been taking inspiration from Amazon on the camping and hiking section, because everybody needs to love the outdoors more. And I have a few more different products here. I've just sort of taken titles and I've written a few words about each of them. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this into the Google Sheet now, and then we're gonna run this workflow. You can have this workflow scheduled automatically to run like every 15 minutes, every hour or whatever, or you can run it whenever you need it. So if you're having like a, a specific se session where you're adding a bunch of products and you wanna run it like at the time, like ad hoc, then you can do that fine. So let's go to the Google Sheet now and let's add these new products. So if I copy these, click here and hit paste. And then if I copy these descriptions, click here and hit paste. And then we are good to go. So we go to Integromat. Obviously I have this turned off at the moment because I didn't want it running automatically. But all I need to do is hit this run once button and it's going to start cycling through. So we hit that and then it's going to look for the rows. It's going to make the request here. And this is where it comes to us with the content cartel and we have to manually approve it. So I can see that now and I can hear, okay, that looks fine to me. I'll accept that. And this is our, our team would be doing this and this is a human in the loop element. So you know, everything is compliant, everything is cool. Um, and then we go for the second one, which has just come in as well. And we hit accept on that and that's been approved. And then the third one is going to come in. That's the second one done. And the third one is going to come in now. And we confirm that. And if we go to the, uh, the sheet now, you'll see that it's updating these fields. And this final one is going to update any minute now. Once that process completes, there you go. It's there. So now we have... AI generated outputs for the uh, descriptions that we set. Um, let's just make this look a bit nicer. Format wrap. Okay. So then we have the, yeah, so we have the outputs for what we set. And everything looks great. And you could use these outputs on your e commerce site. You could set up more automation so that when something appears in this field here, you can automatically push it to your WooCommerce store, Shopify store, a bunch of other things. So this is the power of uh, middleman, and this is the power of AI and getting automation and integrations everywhere within the product, which is very important to us at Content Village. And this is just one of many use cases if you are into dropshipping or e-commerce on a large scale, then you will find this incredibly useful and it's going to save you a ton of time. If you are interested in giving it a go, 
go to contentmillion.com, sign up for one of our plans and start using middleman today. Thank you.